All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Stella. And I'm Haley. And today we're going to be reacting to Dr. Sleep. Uh, this is the sequel to The Shining, which we watched last week. This movie came out a couple of years ago, and I have seen this movie. Haley has not. Totally new to The Shining, totally new to Stephen King. Um, I remember really liking this movie. I'm super excited to watch it again. I don't remember too much about the plot, but it does follow uh, Danny from The Shining, the last movie, who, if we remember from last week, he survived. <laughs> uh, his dear old dad did not survive, sadly. Uh, Rip Jack. But um, I think we're going to kind of follow him as an adult, played by the love of my life, Ewan McGregor. So honestly, I'm excited to just get into it. Don't have too much to say. Uh, this is also directed by Mike Flanagan, who is one of my favorite horror directors. He did Haunting of Hill House. Oh. He did Oculus. He did Hush. He did Bly Manor and Midnight Mass. And he's got a ton of stuff. So if there are any other Mike Flanagan movies uh, that you guys would like us to react to, drop them down in the comments. Because I don't know which ones we've seen, which ones we haven't reacted to. But if there's any we haven't touched... Uh, just let us know. Um, but yeah, the, as always, the full-length reaction will be up on our Patreon, along with early access to next week's horror reaction, so please go check that out. And yeah, with that out of the way, let's just get into Dr. Sleep. All right, guys, welcome to the full-length reaction of Dr. Sleep. We're watching this one on Amazon Prime. I'm just going to give you guys a quick countdown. All right, three, two, one. Not the scary Slay music. Old Warner, the old Warner Brothers logo. I know, what the heck? Imagine the stress, too, of like undertaking this as a project being oh. like i'm gonna make the sequel to one of the most, most iconic movies relevant horror yeah movies. 1980 that's the year everything went down i think so it's nearby at least well hi there do you want one you're wondering why i'm wearing such a funny hat it looks like a magician's hat it's a magic hat I was about to say, this lady's giving giving witch energy. Don't worry, that's my friend. You're missing the trick. I'm sorry? Speaking of special, you're a little magic too, aren't you? <gasps> Violet. Like you. Like, this is a kidnapping plot. My goodness. Special ones that taste bad. No, I didn't like that. Remember how I said Stephen King has a thing with kids and trauma? <laughs> <laughs> well, there we are. Here we are. <laughs> Slay carpet. I love this carpet so much. Like, I know it's supposed to give you kind of the heebie-jeebies because of associations, but... <laughs> I'm kind of scared too because this is a more recent horror movie and we know our boy Mike Flanagan loves a good jump scare so <laughs> it's the woman in the bathroom I did not enjoy that does my boy Danny still have his boy Tony chilling with him No. It's okay, Doc. <laughs> you have to talk to me, Danny. You haven't talked since we left. That's like worst nightmare. Finally getting out of the place that has all that horrible stuff and then it like follows you home. Yeah. You ain't talking, huh, Doc? What? You remember the first time we really talked when I spoke up inside your head? You can just talk to ghosts now. Knowing you weren't alone? Someone did that for me too. Someday, Danny Torrance, you'll teach someone else. She found me. She come back and come back until she gets me. They're starving old ghosts and they're reaching out for you. And the darkest things are the hungriest and they'll eat what shines. What you can do is turn what they come for against them. I want you 
to know this box. You're gonna build one just like it in your mind. So next time that bitch comes around, you'll be ready. Good thing nobody saw him talking to nobody. Still the same old Wendy. <laughs> How do you like recover as a parent after that? I don't know. You hear? Don't you ever do that to me? Oh gosh. Ouch! You're killing me. <laughs> Stop it. He's gotta lock her up in the box or something. I don't know, mm -hmm. Dick didn't really explain what this box is supposed to do. No, not really. That kid is braver than me though, that's for sure. <laughs> Seems like Danny knows what's up. Slay King. He figured it out so quick. Um, I'm okay. Twenty eleven. This is what New Jersey does to people, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> he was just a cute little kid last time we saw him. Now he's getting into bar fights. Are we gonna steal? That's not very nice, Danny. She is a kid. You can put her money back, Doc. You're prettier than your picture. And you're older than you wish. Oh. You're going somewhere. Don't you want to watch the movie? You don't leave during Casablanca. It's a classic. I don't see what the fuss is about. Just watch. It's interesting, I promise. She does not look like she has aged a day. Aren't you tired? Sleep? Ten years ago. Ugh. When your wife asks. But you can't explain this. This you see. Every day when you look in the mirror. What the heck? You see it. You'll say, I like little girls. Ew. Excuse me, miss. Here. You want to leave me alone? Well, hi there. What is up with this, like, cult <laughs> thing that they have going on? Yeah. I mean, we're like 20 minutes into the movie and they're like, how... How uncomfortable can we make our audience? How deeply disturbed can we make everyone? Yeah, it's not great. The vibes are pretty awful. So many locations. Mm, thank you, Abadu. I know magic too. Has, has anyone seen my spoons? I can do that. That's nice. <laughs> Dave. Uh, what? Abracadabra. Yeah, I'm thinking she has the shine. Are they just like collecting people who have the shine? I mean, she said they taste better, right? When they're special. So there's clearly, and also, you're right, she hasn't aged in 30 years. Well, hi there, sleepyhead. Sorry. Six men? In three months? You're some crazy bitch who kidnapped me. Just the truth from now on. Th that was truthful. You're a pusher, hmm? You can push people. How old are you, darling? Fifteen. That's what I'm offering you. Eat well. Stay young. Oh boy. <laughs> music so creepy it looks fine <laughs> this town looks cute you like it 
Oh, I, sorry, I was just looking. That's okay. Community project, just taking a life all its own. This <laughs> keeps growing. Kids call it Teeny Town. The oh. kids build. That's cute. Teeny Town. Are oh, you off the bus or riding your thumb? Not many ride the bus this far north. Unless they're looking for work. He gonna become a Teeny Town employee. Oh my gosh. That'd be the best job ever. Some running away from myself, I guess. Take yourself with you wherever you go. Ain't that the bitch? Rent's 85 a week, payable up front. $85 a week? I, I'm a quiet tenant. <laughs> Last guy said the same. Even let him paint the wall all black, boy. I can make this easy for you. <laughs> you sure you want to vouch for this pup? Pretty sure. Bleeding hot, this one. I'm Thank downstairs, ground floor, if you need anything. What a nice guy. I know. Why are you doing this? You don't know me. No, I don't. Oh, it's weird to hear you and McGregor speak in an American accent. <laughs> Isn't it? She's ready. Gosh, they just appear. That over there is Grandpa Flick. And he'll lead us. Lie down. This one's special. What? Her name's Vi. No. And she tastes. Poor little girl. <laughs> I have so many questions. Valid. How did they vaporize a little girl? <laughs> Oh my gosh! What happened to compartmentalizing in a box, Danny? Oh, oh gosh. They haven't found us yet. No! No, not the little boy, too! No! Potentially, we might need something a little more powerful than just our trauma box. We might need some, some serious psychiatric counseling. Yeah, seriously. This man needs multiple years of therapy. I need help. Come on. We talk about it. Wow. This man is MVP. Insane. Well, Bobby's got a big birthday today. Three years. Three years over here. Good for you. Slay Bobby. We well, got 24 hours. Yeah. Move to town, huh? It's uh, Dan Torrance. He's fresh off the bus, huh? If you're looking for a wing to climb under, I can't say you do any better than Billy Freeman here. Yeah. You know, we say you can't judge someone until you know the whole story. You might think you understand, but you, you don't. don't. <laughs> this is so sweet. All right. Our well, train's still running. Yeah. That's good to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Does he sense something weird? Hey, Doc. You lost your watch. You were worried about the kid with uh, goochers or gouchers, the, the bone thing. Gosh, the heartbeat that plays every time. You were washing your hands in the hospital bathroom and you, you left it on the soap dispenser. We'll just check on the soap dispenser. <laughs> Help this man find his watch in the creepiest way possible. I know, seriously. How did you know? I wish I could say, uh... This room looks a lot like... There are oh, all yes. these little scenes Intuition, that look like other like scenes. Like oh yeah, this looks exactly like the beginning of The Shining. So Billy says you, you have orderly experience. You working right now? A, a few shifts at Teeny Town. <laughs> he does work at Teeny Town. He's a, week at He's a Teeny Town, Town employee. Hospice. I love it. And he Good is going to get employee to of the month. The dying people bother you? Oh gosh. We're all dying. Oh my gosh. The world is one big hospice with fresh air. Wow, really? What has been going on in your life, sir, since we last saw you? Too much. It's yeah. so depressing because you really wish you're like, okay, you almost feel like after the end of The Shining that it's like, okay, maybe things are going to go okay for Danny and he can get that help. And then you see him and now like 30, 40 years later and you're like, nope. Nope. <laughs> none of those things happened. <laughs> well, hi there. You said it didn't hurt. 
Well, she lied. You'll feel better when you eat. Am I still human? Do you care? Oh boy. No cat dog. Kitty cat. I know a lot of like hospice or like elderly homes have cats. And there's usually cats that like will go into a specific residence rooms like a specific night and you know that like that resident is about to die. That's like a thing that I happens feel like in I've real heard life. Of that, yeah. Let him be. Ah. Uh, I think the cat knows it's something. Real, the cat's name is Azreel, which straight up sounds like a biblical I you, I don't know if it is, but it sounds like a biblical angel or demon. Has he? Has he? Come on. Yeah. I think this guy might be his time. Her cat's on my bed. I knew she would be. Her cat. See? Seems to... Haley called it. <laughs> when it's time. Oh, I guess that's the so cutest cute. cat I've ever seen in my whole life. Oh my gosh. No one, it was coming. Doesn't make it less scary. I mean, it's just like you say, just going to sleep. You're a strange type of doctor. Start to sleep. Oh, and I don't want nothing to be scared of. Just going to sleep. Oh my gosh! Finally, true, restful sleep. That would scare me so bad. I see my wife. <sighs> what does he see? That's the, the 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 paper that the little girl gave her mom. Gosh, what is going on? He's so unfazed. Like he's I, been through way too much to be phased by a random hello on the chalkboard. I guess that's true. Nothing better happen to this little girl. I know it was Why a did the transition. transition? <laughs> scare me like that. Dan, alcoholic. Eight? Eight? I'm not much of a speech guy. I, I guess now it's 2019, the year that the movie came out. I'm, I'm thinking about my dad. He died when I was five, so the only way I, I got to know him was when I went dark. The temper and the anger. Those things in me were his. Don't be like your dad, Danny. You're better than him. Well, now I, I, I get to know him a little different. He also stood in a room like this once, wanting to get well. For me, my mom. This is for Jack Torrance. Ah, you This, in. this you movie in. hurts. What the heck? Yeah. Not it making me emotional about Jack Torrance. I know. Jack Torrance. Jack Torrance. Doc? Guess I don't need to ask. Uh oh. They all know, well, know about him now, I guess, too. <laughs> He's uh, sitting there with all the people who die. I guess I'm scared. There's nothing. We don't end, Charlie. I can taste blueberries. Can you taste them? Yeah, I can. I can hear Frank in your old radio. Gosh. Come fly with me. Come fly with me. Let's fly. He's really using his shine for like something really good. I'm yeah. proud of you. Am I blind? Minute, what does that say? <laughs> morning. Oh, morning. <laughs> I mean, that little girl won't be that young anymore. She's like a teenager now. Hey, Gramps, you seen Rosie? Are you feeling okay? He's looking older. Hey, he's somewhere in Iowa, I think. You gotta open a canister, Rosie. Or the canister's low. Of course not. Just... I think she's lying. I might need it just to find him. He needs to be more steam in the world. Oh, don't be done. There's less steam out there and it's weaker too. I bet you if they find Danny, he's gonna be the most the most steamy guy. The steamiest <laughs> man. <laughs> I'll open a canister tonight to tide everyone up. Thank you. Oh, I hate that they've tied like bracelets and stuff around like friendship bracelets. It's very serial That's killer esque so to like Yeah. No, this entire, like, camping trip of, of serial killers is really creepy. I don't like it at all. It feels too real, I think, is the problem. Like, it just, it feels like a real cult. Oh, yeah. Big time. 
Oh, watch this kid. Number 19. That kid is a natural. Uh-oh. Like he can read the pitcher's mind. Hmm. Is that right? You better leave that kid alone, sir. Hey, he's one of those talent scouts is gonna get wind of Brad there. You watch. Oh, Brad. I hate that they, like, target children, too. Yeah. It's awful. Because it makes you think, why, why are kids the ones with the abilities, you know? Nope. Hey. Absolutely not. Gee. Hey, you heading home? You wanna hop in? I'll give you a ride. Nope. Too real. Too real. Stranger danger. Absolutely not. Run. It's okay. No. Into the cornfield. You wanna hop in? I'll take you right home. You can take me right home. Oh, I forgot she can do that. Dang it. No, poor Brad. No, no please! No! no. no. This kid is also just like a little bit too good of an actor. Please let me go, please, no, no, please! <laughs> Number 19. No, please let me go. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> Are you gonna hurt me? That is, is that Jacob Tremblay? <gasps> yeah. Oh. No, this kid is a phenomenal oh, actor. Yeah, I don't he's like so this. so good and like, that's why I can't watch. <laughs> no, 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 no. What is he? Oh, oh my gosh! She better see. Oh, there's two people we can go after. No! But she wrote it the right way. I believe in you, Danny. Gotta stop this cult. Nice. <clears throat> Gosh, this is horrible. I also feel like that was like really graphic for yeah. like a child. It's We're just looker. too real. Like yeah. it wasn't terribly gory. It's not like they showed everything, but it was just drawn yeah. out and it took 16? so long. <laughs> and they didn't cut away. You're saying someone looked in from 1500 miles away. Girl, I think, but I swear, Cardaddy. Ew. Why did she call him that? Yeah, we need to, like, I think, fix Damn. some of our terminology that we use in this so little cult situation going on. It's real creepy. We need why to stop just, calling like, it steam. Why don't we just, like, call everyone by their names? But when she comes back, and she'll be back, oh, I'll be ready, honey. I don't think the landlady's gonna be too peachy keen on the word yeah. murder carved into her wall. Last night. I'm okay. I know that head of yours is like a radio sometimes. Nothing weird like that. Not anymore. She's gonna do baseball boy goes missing. <laughs> I gotta study. I don't study. Yeah. She's just reading everybody's mind. The freak is staring at me again. What is she staring at? Oh, yeah. Because at this age, does she like realize that it's real? Can't, she, I, like, I can't really she tell must. Those for sure. Well, because I'm sure as a kid too, like you're probably going to be told by your parents, like what's all in your head. So. But um, I'm writing about Charleston Black Bottom. Yeah, it's, I think once I started hearing like, people's I'm thoughts, going to start I'd be like, mm, this this feels pretty re real to me. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh gosh. <laughs> Call in like anonymous tip and be like, check this. Yeah, spot. check this spot. Yep. Yeah. Cause then at least the family will have closure. That's hard though, because you gotta make sure it's really anonymous. Because if oh, you yeah. call in with a tip and they figure out it's you, then they're gonna be like, ah, uh, excuse me. Yeah. How'd you know that? <laughs> what? What is going on? Anything we've seen in terms of shine in kids, this is like well beyond that. <laughs> Yeah. She's like, totally next level. <gasps> no. Window jump scare. There's the nothing in it, just a loud sound. That's just gonna make it way more enticing. Done. Oh! Done? Cause he's kinda connected to her too. Uh, come on down. Interesting. What Not happened? at the I just dropped. AA meeting. I know. It's gonna look real sus. Who's Tony? Who's Tony? Who's Tony? He kept saying, please help me, Tony. Tell me more about my man Tony. Give me the Tony lore. <laughs> Oh man, or they'd be like, uh-oh, is Dan on drugs? It's like, no, this is just his life. We've got a problem. Talk to me. The looker, I tried to turn around on her and she blew me out of her. We have to have her go. Oh, what? she going to look for Dan? Because that's crazy, my girl. Is he, is he driving the train in teeny town? She is looking for Dan. That's- He's a conductor <laughs> and like he lets people on and off. That's so cute to me. <laughs> He's like, okay, child, <laughs> staring at me. Billy. It just looks so weird though, Yeah, too. how do you do that looks so weird? Excuse me, I gotta go talk to this child for a couple yeah. of minutes. Like, what? Maybe he can, like, can lie and be like, it's my niece. You tracked me down? A grown man sitting with a teenage girl on a park bench? I'm Aberstone, She's and like, if okay. anyone asks, you're my uncle. See? There we go. <laughs> Haley, you're way ahead of them. <laughs> you're magic. Like me. I always called it the shining. And yeah, we both shine. Do your parents know? About my shine? They probably know bits and pieces, yeah. When I was a kid, I didn't understand the shining. I called it Tony. The baseball boy shined. These people. They took him. And they ate him. They ate his shine. If you could get something of his. If I can touch that glove, I can track them. For a while, before they killed him, he was wearing it. Oh my gosh. This girl has plans on plans on plans. And they're not bad. But Dan it's has like a nice life set up Go for home. him and I totally understand why he doesn't want to get involved. Don't aggravate them. I know, it's so Whatever dangerous. Whatever you do, don't stop that shine of yours. I can't, really can't believe she just hopped on a bus. I think they're both East Coast, though, right? Because they said yeah. she was East. So I'm hoping yeah. it was maybe like an hour bus ride or something. Okay, they just yeah, happened yeah. to both be in New Jersey. <laughs> oh, that, that room's empty, ass. No. Cats always know. Hang on, Doc. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was about to shove you in my mind palace box. <laughs> I'm here because it all comes round. These empty devils ever found you when you was attacked? You'd be long dead. How did they not find him? 
Oh, probably because he was doing the box thing, huh? You've noticed that little girl. Get her what she asked for. You won't see me again, Doc. Goodbye. Hey. Hey, Mom. I'm flying out to see Momo in the morning. Is she going to pull through this time? I don't know. I hope so. I hate the heartbeat. No. Not her finding the house so fast. What the heck? Well, hi there. Uh oh, she better learn about Dan. Slay Abra's mind. Yeah. He said you'd come back. <laughs> and you did. Good. Gosh, that is so scary. Get back! <laughs> oh god. <gasps> Oof. in my head what stealing oh grandpa flick i think he's cycling uncle dan uncle dan i hurt her best part is the best part is i got in her head oh god Abra. i like that she calls him uncle dan <laughs> i know it's cute just talk to the kid we're gonna do this and let's do this your boy told you to do it you better do it i can hear you I thought we lived forever. So, I Did guess... someone promise you that, Andy? You just age really slowly. I said, live long. Don't say he's going. Rosie. What is it like when they die? Yes, love. I'm scared. So no. Oh. No, I'm scared. <laughs> You're a king. Ew. Hey, bro. You have a good sense about people, is that fair to say? <laughs> I need your help. The first thing I need is for you to listen to a story and try harder than you've ever tried to believe me. Oh, Billy is MVP. such an MVP. Billy. Because imagine trying to tell anyone this. How's it going? How long have you been driving? A few hours or so. We should get there tonight late. Mm -hmm. To my friend. Maybe my best friend. She was so mad and so scared that I got in. That was a new trick. I've never done that before. Be careful. Like, she just looks way too gleeful about, yeah. about all of this. Like this. Just a little push. <gasps> you don't want to go in his mind room. No, man. his mind is awful. Sorry, 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 sorry. <sighs> his mind is messed up, girl. What were all those boxes? Nothing. Liar. <laughs> Girl! So aggressive! When I was a kid, I bumped into something like these things that ate like they do. It wasn't a person, it was a place. But the things that lived there, they... they... Don't go poking around in there again. Oh, her hand's looking rough. Get the caravan on the road, and we'll have her in a day or two. I don't think you should come, Rosie. She tagged you. She got in your head. As far as we know, you are the only one of us she can track. Hey, I think we're here. Mm. Okay. How are you gonna tell the, like, the police? Abra. <laughs> Billy! She says to pull her on back. And I'll tell you when to stop. She'll tell us when to stop. <laughs> Billy's like, what the heck is this? I don't know how they're gonna tell the police tell in a way I that I, I don't know whether I is, hope you're wrong. I don't know how they're gonna do this without being so suspicious. Yeah. No. Oh, I forgot they need to get the glove. I was like, what is the reason for 
for digging up this child. Really? Oh, oh gosh. Oh. 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 Did, you catch into? Did you get it? Yeah, we got it. We'll be back in the morning. We got a stop to make. Just show your parents what's happening. If I tell them, they'll... Rose will go through them to get to you. She's coming, Abra. They need to know. Listen to your Uncle Dan. So what's the stop we gotta make? You still got those old deer rifles. What? Your Uncle Dan? Oh no! Oh no! I told him! Well, that's not the same. Kick your ass! <gasps> Everything she told you is true. Oh gosh, this poor man. They know about my daughter. Sooner or later they're coming. We gotta do something. I right, recall the police. The police will not believe you. When are they coming? Where can we go? Abra can answer that. You sure you want to do this? I have to. Ninety-five. Rose? Didn't see her, but they're coming. Oh, her poor dad. They're trying to track you, and you're gonna let them. You need to try and do a little trick. A magic trick? She's so eager. Oh, this girl, I'm scared for her. They're following us. Concentrate, you gotta keep it up until they land. New Hampshire. This should work. You still close? Getting closer, I think. Okay, Crow Daddy. Go get her. We still have an upper hand on them, though, because they don't know that we have the way in through the glove. Yeah, they don't know that she can track them that way. Oh boy, what is going on? Well, Billy said something about blinds, too, so are they gonna try to, like, kill them from hiding the spots? You feel relaxed, don't you, Abra? Just relax. We're friends. Good friends. The way they talked you up, I was thinking it'd be a little harder than that. Oh. Parlor tricks, just fucking parlor tricks! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're actually gonna like shoot them all? That's crazy. Get out of there! That is insane. Oh, but they're, they came prepared. Interesting. So they can just die normally, like if they get shot. Nice, we're taking out some of their numbers. That's good. And Rose. Nothing? Better happen to be. They're like, they're like connected in some way, so she can feel every oh, time yeah. somebody dies, which oh. is awful, but also so deserved. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so did they get everybody except for Andy? I think so. Andy and I don't think they shot the crow guy. Oh. Oh no. Stop. Come on. Dan, you're stronger than her. Aren't you sleepy? Sleep! Wake up! Uncle Dan! Oh! Oh! Nice shot. Slay, Billy. Stay back, Billy. Listen. <laughs> No! Billy! Are you actually kidding me? There's one missing. Where's the crow? Hello, Abra. I noticed that her dad wasn't standing there when she was telling him to wake up. Abra! This is horrible. I said Billy better not die. And last movie, you said Dick better not die. We don't have and a great track here record here. We are of protecting our characters. Is her 
for dad okay? Yeah, did he kill dad? Or is he just unconscious? I'm so stressed out. No good, you're awake. I cannot believe they did my, my man Billy like that. Damn. Don't bother. You've been dosed, missing. That steam of yours is fast asleep. My dad. A lot of good people killed today. A lot of good people. Was he trying to trick her though? Because he didn't say, yes, your dad is dead. Yeah, and we didn't see anything. Didn't change, and you know though. movie rules. Think on that a minute. Unless we see them die. Their deaths. All of them. Just a waste. Excuse me. Please hear me. Ain't nobody hearing you. Oh no, he's dead. He drove home? Oh no, he took the bottle. Dan. He doesn't have any connection to that. Like, he doesn't know where she is. What's he supposed to do? Abra. Tony. No, don't do it, don't do it. No. Come on, eight years. Your brain was like a radio. No one's answering when you call, so stop calling. And just listen. felt hungover in years, and you know I don't miss it. Not even a little. Ah! Crownville, New York. Who are you? I'm the guy that killed your friends. <laughs> don't imagine Rose will be too happy if you shoot the prize. Yeah. Well, it's just arrogance. It's if you think you're gonna live forever. Of course you wouldn't wear your seatbelt. Oh! And that, my friends, is why we wear seatbelts. Yeah, just in case a shining kid grabs your steering wheel. <laughs> Do we want to see this? Probably not. <laughs> I hope that hurt. <laughs> She's really, like... He stabbed her dad. I mean, that's valid. No, I mean true. <laughs> She's justified. This, this kid is gonna grow up to be like so messed up. You little bitch. All you had to do was leave her alone. All right. Oh my gosh, Abra's mom is just like out of town right now. She's gonna Visiting come back. Visiting her grandma who's in the hospital or something. Oh my like... gosh, this woman is gonna come back to a whole mess. And her husband dead, like. Where are we? Ohio. Where are we going? Colorado. Why? There's a place place that's dangerous for people like us i expect it's dangerous for people like her interesting Ooh, her mom <laughs> oh no hi mom oh thank god are you okay where are you i love you <gasps> safe you'll call her and tell her where to find us i will oh my god that is a mother's worst nightmare right there. Yeah, that's terrifying. They're gonna like track her phone and be like, why is it in Ohio? Just on the side of the road too. Danny, this looks really bad for you. Yeah, what's his plan? If, if like everything goes well and this all works out, what's he planning on doing afterwards? He's like, hello ma'am, I have your daughter. Like- <laughs> Not too much further up the mountain. 
Was it snowing? Stop. Oh, the music. Oh! Uh, the iconic shot at the beginning. Oh, bro. But it's nighttime. <laughs> We're back. You're gonna stay in the car. Keep the heater running. You can see her a mile out, easy. You see lights on the mountain over there? You blast me, okay? But I don't want you going in, not until she's here. I have to wake it up. He's gotta like open up all those boxes in his head. Is it weird that I feel like the hotel is less creepy now that it looks when it's really all, run like, down? it's abandoned? A little bit, yeah. Because I feel like it it's, doesn't feel like it's, it's trying almost, to trick you. Yeah, it's almost worse when it's like pristine and abandoned. <laughs> oh, didn't like that. Does it still say red rum? Yep. Yes, indeed. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh. Oh, of course there's just a glass waiting. Slow night, Mr. Torrance. This was your brand. I used to see the bottles in our home. Hmm? I'm afraid you've confused me with someone else. It's Lloyd. <laughs> Lloyd. Oh, he's dead. Oh, I know where they are. Is this like hide. a deep fake CGI? <laughs> Jack I, Nicholson. <laughs> it's a bit of both, but no. This is an actor. Mom and I, we never wanted to see snow again. So we lived in Florida. Mm -hmm. I was 20 when she died. Mm. And back then, I saw when someone was gonna... Oh. Death flies, I called them, circling people's faces. And in those last weeks, she was covered. I could hardly look at her. Maybe something warm to push away such unpleasant... Man takes a drink. The drink takes a drink. And then the drink takes a man. Ain't it so, Dad? Medicine is what it is. Mm. Are you gonna take your medicine? I'm not. Dan! She's here! Hmm. Ugh. That was awful. No, so that, um, that actor was actually the dad from Haunting of Hill House. Yeah, oh. he just looks very- they, the way they did his styling and makeup, he really does look like Jack Nicholson. Ooh. This place is sick. Yeah. It's sick like my mama was sick. Was? Did she die? Wait, so you're telling me her mom came back from, like, losing their grandma to find a to dead find husband her, and her, her husband dead. missing. Gone, yeah. That woman is gonna be traumatized. <gasps> the axe. Girl, you don't even know what you've walked into. Hmm. Just wait till the elevator doors open, honey. As you said. It's so weird. In the original movie, this is like so terrifying, but now I'm kind of like, oh, it's home. It's familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when the elevators do that. Oh. Are the papers and everything still there? Hi there. When this starts, run. And you will scream for years until you die. We'll see who does the screaming. Dang, she is so brave. You don't know where you're standing. Go. He's gonna let some things out of some boxes, girl. You better run. You've made some improvements, haven't you? Since the last time I was in your mind. How do you know we're not yours? 
You're both wrong. You're gonna die here. <laughs> You're gonna hurt me. Yes. You've got a darkness in you, dear. Oh, you'd be surprised. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. I was just like you when I was younger. Defiant, aren't you? This isn't yeah. your mind, is it? I knew it. It's Dan's. Oh. Yikes. They were so close. Dang it. How the hell did we miss you? Yeah, that's uh. what I'm wondering. Oh. Oh. oh! oh my gosh! Ow! Oh gosh, just like his dad. I seem to have nicked your <gasps> femoral artery there. Uh-oh. Oh gosh. Ugh. Dad! Oh, damn. You're not alone in there. Oh no. They're not special. They're starving. Oh boy. But now they're all out. Yeah, now we gotta we gotta dip. <laughs> oh, it's time to run. Hello, Danny. Ever. And ever. Oh gosh. Uncle Dan. Uh oh. Uncle Dan, is it done? Oh no. Oh, and he's even got the limp like Jack did. Uh oh. I wonder what we're in. <gasps> yeah, of course it is. <laughs> what other room would it possibly be? Try it. Oh! <sighs> there you are, Abra. You're not Uncle Dan. Who else should I be? You're the hotel. Why are you smiling? Because you don't know where you're standing. I mean the body you're standing in. Dan Torrance made one stop as soon as he got here. To the boiler room. Uh-huh. <laughs> there you are. Is he still bleeding out of his femoral artery? This man looks pale. <sighs> If he's getting out. The fire spread fast, destroying the hotel, purifying it. And deep inside, I knew you were okay. When I first met you, I told you that you should hide, but I was wrong. Shine on, Aberstone. Dinner's ready. Who are you talking to? No one. They stayed in that house? Oh my gosh. I was talking to Dan. We go on after. And he's okay. So is Daddy. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh. <sighs> hmm. Long movie. <laughs> Interesting. That was Dr. Sleep. What did you think? I feel like people are probably more interested to hear your thoughts, seeing as this is the first time. Um, it was interesting. I don't think it's as good as no. the 
The Shining. I mean, sequels really are. Um, but I think... Okay. I think it's the... I think it's a good middle ground because that original movie is so good as a movie, but fails kind of as an adaptation. And, you know, Stephen King thought yeah. so. A lot of people think so. And so this movie feels like that balance. Like, it pays... It's an homage to the original movie. And I think, like, the recreation of sets and stuff is so cool and so accurate. But at the same time, it's also a lot more like the book, from what I can tell. I've never read Doctor Sleep. I've never read The Shining. But I think it has a lot more lore and they, like, give you a lot more information. Whereas The Shining is, like, they don't tell you much of anything, right? That movie mm -hmm. is very vague and ambiguous. And, you know, this one's not so much. So I think... For that reason, I think it's it's something that it's like um, depends on what you enjoy. You know, some people enjoy yeah. to be told more, and some people don't. That's true. Um, I that's really interesting. If this is a like closer adaptation to the book, because like up until like the very end, and we were like at the hotel, I was like, this could so easily not be a sequel to The Shining. Like yeah. it's. It, it's its own story, its own thing. Yes, there are some connections. But if you you could easily take those connections away and this could be its own separate movie. Like, it yeah, almost I mean, didn't feel like a sequel to me. I think <laughs> The Shining is more fun. And I maybe that's not the right word to use. But it's more <laughs> fun as a movie when you don't try to figure out, when you don't know what the hotel is. And this movie basically tells you. You know, mm -hmm. it, they leave it a little vague, but it gives you more of an idea of, like, what is the hotel and what is its purpose and how does it work? And um, I think some people like that and want more of that in movies. You know, there are people who hate those super vague movies where they don't tell you anything. But um, I don't know. I think... This seems, it seems like it's a pretty faithful adaptation, and obviously people in the comments who've read the book, who know about changes that were made, you can let us know. Maybe I'm completely off base, but it seems like a pretty faithful adaptation, which is nice. So I think it's not the perfect movie, but it's respectful to both the Stanley Kubrick movie and to Stephen King's mm -hmm. story, like, vision. Um... Which I think, you know, is commendable. And I think Mike Flanagan seems like a very respectful director when it comes to the source materials that he uses. Like, he seems like he has a lot of respect. I've, I think most of his movies are originals. So him mm -hmm. kind of taking this on is pretty interesting. Because this mm -hmm. is... Oh, that's not true, actually. Haunting of Hill House is an adaptation from a book as well. But, um... I don't know. A lot of his movies, like Oculus, I think, are... I think is an original. But... I don't know. He seems like a respectful director. He seems like when he adapts stuff, he takes into account the writer's um, intentions, which is neat. And Stanley Kubrick did not do did that not at, at all. all. Stanley Kubrick yeah. was like, this is my thing now. So too bad. <laughs> this is my movie. Um, yeah. But, you know, there's stuff to be said about both. And I think this one functions a lot more as like your, your run-of-the-mill standard horror movie. It's almost yes. fantasy, actually. You know, less than horror, I think, because it, it, it almost feels like a, like a fantasy world, like a magic yeah, where everybody has magic, story. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Then it does a ghost story, because suddenly yeah, you're like, for sure. okay, it's not about ghosts, it's not about spirits, this is like more of a magic telepathy story. Um, so I don't know. In some ways, I think this one kind of makes The Shining less creepy. Like, when now, if you go back and watch it, I find The Shining less creepy, knowing how the story hmm. continued, like, canonically. Interesting. You know? Okay. So, I don't know. Yeah. I could see that. I could see that. Um, yeah, I didn't think that one, this one was all that scary. I mean, obviously, check the tapes. I definitely jumped at some of the jump scares. It's, it's um, definitely jump scary, and there's some creepy imagery. But, I mean, the... The scene where they brutally murdered a child was pretty insane. That's I could have done without thing. that. Yeah. Um, but other than that, it wasn't it wasn't all that scary. I mean, I liked what they did 
in some of the more intense scenes with the heartbeat, I thought that was like, oh, this is making me stressed out. Nice. Um, yeah. But I just didn't feel the same sense of like dread, dread. the entire yeah. time like I did I th- with the first movie. And I think it's a pacing thing. These movies, mm. it's crazy to me that these movies are almost the same length. They're really close. I think the original This Shining one felt a lot longer. <laughs> this one feels so much longer because it's got more. You think about the action of The Shining. It's like a little bit of backstory, then arrive at the hotel, and then for like two hours, it's just hotel shenanigans. We're really just watching the events unfold. And it's all self-contained. It's all, this story was happening here, there, wherever. We moved across Multiple the United time States. Multiple We were like, yeah. so the fact that this feels so long is probably because there is way more story to tell. Um, but I think that's kind of a bummer, because I think that holds the movie back is feeling so heavy like so weighted down by just how much content there is um and i think where it really shines is those moments those callbacks to the original movie but those are also i feel a little fan servicey You know, like, you get that whole, that really wonderful, which is, like, objectively, I think is a fantastic scene. The scene between Danny and Jack, who's now become Lloyd, the bartender, I think is a fantastic scene because it's so reminiscent of the tone of the original movie. And it almost feels like the hotel has, like, just absorbed Jack into itself, which is so, I think it's a cool concept. Mm -hmm. But... That scene doesn't serve the story at all. It's just there for us as an audience to go, oh, 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 I, <laughs> I remember this. I know what's going on. And I think the the overlap between the story and the nostalgia isn't quite perfect. You know, yeah. it, could, it could be better. I'm no filmmaker. I don't I don't know what you can do to make it better. But I think it, it definitely is held back in places. So... Yeah. Um, honestly, I didn't remember most of the ending. I remembered a lot of the beginning. Didn't remember most of the ending. I remembered Rose's character, and I think Rebecca Ferguson does a fantastic job. Um, oh, and I yeah. think Ewan McGregor does a fantastic job. It makes my heart break. Oh, man. I, I'm really, uh, really sad that eventually, like, the hotel got him in the end. Like, yeah. That's pretty but devastating. Is, he never, and it's sad to think he never really has a f- super, like, I guess he kind of finds his, his place and his calling, but it is a bit of a bummer that his calling ended up being working at, like, a hospital or hospice, telling old people that they're about to die is a little depressing. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe a nice family and, I don't know, so, just something happy, but he doesn't really get that. Um, and I think, to be honest, maybe that's more realistic, because... yeah. Uh, I I really wonder what's going to happen to Abra. I yeah, really do. Cuz um, I think I I'm to be honest, like I I'm aware that Stephen King has these like overarching story threads kind of going on in his books that these things are a little bit connected. But I think this is the end of the story for here. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't feel like there's any more shining story to tell. Mhm. And I think if anything, my worry, especially now with the like the the it movies coming out too, my worry is that people are realizing how much money these will make, and we love a we love an extended universe. We really do. We as human the beings, Stephen we, King cinematic universe, the Stephen King cinematic cinematic <laughs> universe. I'm worried that that's like where we're headed, because mm. we've had the two it movies, we've had this. There are all these adaptations that are in the works, and we love those like weird connections. But part of me is just like, I kind of want to leave a lot of these books untouched, you know, because I think a lot of these books work as books and not would not work <laughs> as movies. And so mm-hmm. I don't know. It's it's mm-hmm. an interesting question. I guess. Tell us what you guys think in the comments. If there's any other 
Stephen King movies you'd like us to check out, let us know. If there are any other uh, Mike Flanagan movies that you'd like us to check out, let us know. We have, there's just so much good horror out there for us to watch. But yeah, drop recommendations. As always, the full-length reaction will be on our Patreon, along with early access to next week's horror reaction. So please go check that out. Uh, as always, thank you so much for being here, joining us, and watching. And if you're new, consider subscribing and sticking around, because we'd love to have you. And if you do decide to stick around, we will see you guys in the next reaction. Thank <laughs> you.